All right. Eddie and I are going out. Do some scouting. Do you, know you know where the lock is for that? I game? have it in my car. Do you want it? No. Just okay. Sure it's so now that I'm here, a lot of things start coming to mind on where we need to go. Check. There are some trees right there that are big enough. I've driven here during this time of year and I've seen turkeys right back in there. Turkey in German is a Kühnhuhn. What is it? Kühnhuhn. Kühnhuhn? Kühnhuhn. Kühnhuhn? Yeah. <laughs> so just the turkey is just a Kühn. But the Huhn is the rooster. Oh. Do you speak like fluent German? I'm not high German, I do low German. Hmm. Which is like Russian, it's like, I guess the best way to explain it would be like a Tex-Mex of Spanish, right? Yeah. It's not authentic. I bet they're all down low right now if I had to guess. Yeah, that's why I want to check this bowl right quick. <laughs> All right, you guys, we uh, sat till nine and uh, no gobbles. We heard one hen that was pretty far off, um, but it's windy enough today that we're gonna just kind of take our time and work this draw. Just do some calling as we go, see if we can strike one up. Okay, good morning. We just got to the same piece that I shot my other bird on. Um, main reason, because there's a lot of birds. Um, they're just all in the neighbors. And it's already 6.50 right now, so it's pretty daylight. Like, not daylight, but like you can see really well, um, cracking. And I kind of took my time getting here because I didn't shoot my bird till like 9.15. Um, and so I think because they're on the neighbors, it takes them a while to kind of work through this way. But I think they do work through pretty regularly. So I was like, all right, I'll just take my time. And, um, you know, there's no rush to go and sit down and wait for three hours. Um, 
but I just uh, did some calling and they sure, sure enough, they're on the neighbors again, gobbling their heads off, but there's a bunch of birds. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I'm kind of like strategizing. I have like a general idea of where I want to sit. Um, I don't think I'm going to sit in the exact same spot, but I, it's, it's really just a big draw in the center of the property. And I think those birds really like to hug, hug tight to those draws for safety. Um, however, today is a very relatively calm day. There's a little bit of wind, but, um, it's been super windy the last couple days. So I think they might be up higher today just because it's not so bad with the wind. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of where I'm at. Um, so I'm kind of just sitting here looking at Onyx trying to figure out where I want to sit because I just, I don't know. I don't, like, the spot that I was sitting the last time was fine. Like, they worked through there, but they were higher than me. I think I was down too low, and I don't like that. Honestly, I might even sit, like, a power line. There's a couple power lines and, like, just ATV roads that they use to get to different deer blinds. I think I like those, just those flat open spots. I might put a decoy out and kind of just, um, sit on one of those, but I don't know. I just, I'm undecided because I really like those, those draws. <laughs> okay, guys, I see some tracks here. That's a big tom. It's gonna set up somewhere. I'm gonna set up somewhere in here, I think. Just find somewhere to tuck in. Okay, we're gonna try to get tucked in this cedar here. way somewhere. So I'm going to kind of put her back a little ways so that way they get to me instead of hanging up. This dirt is tough. It is now after 11 and uh, no turkeys, no gobbles, no nothing. So I might just kind of work my way down this draw, pick a different spot. Um, I'm sure they'll be by at some point, but I also feel like they've been consistently down in the draws. Um, and that's this whole week, everywhere I've been, they've been they've all been down in these draws so I might just be up too high um, I thought they might come up high with it being so calm but I don't know I think I just need to move 
sucks because they're not really talking, so it's tar it's tough to figure out exactly where they, where they want to be. But we're going to try it. Worst case, I can always come back. These freaking turkeys, man. They don't want to play. I'm sure you guys can tell it's pretty windy now. Um, we've got some storms rolling in. I think I'm just going to sit here until the weather gets too bad and then I'm going to get out of here. This might be a wrap for Texas. But for now, I'm trying to get one to come into the decoy because... They just are not vocal. I'm, I'm lucky I got the one that I did, truthfully. He came in silent. I only knew he was there because he was like clucking at my decoy. So, kind of a weird start. I don't know if it's just too early. The weather's been kind of wishy-washy, so could be a combination of things, but I at least got one, so I can't complain too bad. Just heard one gobble. It didn't sound too far, maybe 200 yards. see my decoy eventually. This bird might come in. He's gobbled four times now and he sounds like he's getting closer. I think he's coming. Make sure he doesn't get away. There's another bird next to me. Oh, Lee, crap! 
<gasps> that was a far shot too. That was like 50, 50 yards. <laughs> Holy cow. What a, oh my gosh. What a hunt, you guys. What a hunt. Hold on. Let me show me. Gosh, that was amazing. I thought he was gonna get away. <laughs> These birds have been so tight-lipped, it's insane. But uh, yesterday when Eddie and I were walking around, there was a ton of tracks right on this little two track that they use just to check cows. And I was like, yeah, it's gotta be a good spot. Today felt perfect, but nothing was gobbling. And so I, didn't, I drove around, did some glassing, I didn't see anything. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the spot that has all the tracks. I'm just gonna sit down. Honestly, we got this storm rolling in. So I was like, he may gobble, he may not, who knows. And then he was kind of skirting me. Cause I, I mean, they've been timid this whole time. So I was a little nervous and I was like, as soon as he gets in that opening, I'm shooting. Yes, <laughs> second Texas bird, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. Literally perfect. Gosh. I was shocked when he was gobbling. He just kind of gobbled randomly. I did some calling every couple minutes. You guys, look. Heck yeah. Gosh, I love these Rios. They're so gorgeous. That's amazing. Oh my God, I'm so pumped right now. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Gosh, I was not sure if that was gonna work. And there was actually a second bird it might have been a hen or something that flew when I shot. I never even knew was there. It was kind of, kind of crazy. Maybe that's where he was going, but yes. Okay, okay. I'm so pumped. I gotta call Corbin. Get my tag out. And then I'll show you guys uh, where I, the kind of situation here. So I was tucked in um, right in this cluster right here. Decoy right on this two track, which you can see quite a ways. And then a few spots like out here. Um, just, I was just trying to get a bird maybe out in the distance to see the decoy, even if they didn't want to come into calls. Um, but it seemed like, it seems like these birds, like they're not real responsive to calls, but if you just call every so often, and I mean like maybe every 30 minutes. And then real soft is kind of what I start with just in case something is close. And then I get real loud, real aggressive, do some cuts um, and then go silent. And that seems to be kind of what they're, they're willing to come into a little bit and just at, at least get their curiosity. Um, but then, yeah, he kind of just worked his way across and then I shot him. He's out over there. Um, I don't know, that might be 50, 60 yards. I ain't gonna lie, I held a little high because he was kind of angling a little bit side hilling away from me because he just didn't like something. I don't know if he didn't like the decoy or if he didn't like me kind of calling, but we made it happen, so let's tag him. two birds and I honest to God I don't know how because this is some of the toughest hunting I've had just completely silent except every now and then they would gobble just randomly um, so I'm honestly shocked I called this guy in this is the first bird I killed this is obviously the one from today his tail's a little nicer this one's been kind of shoved in my cooler but I am so grateful to be able to harvest two beautiful birds mature birds in Texas. I just, I really, I couldn't ask for more. I think I technically have four tags, but I think I'm gonna be done. Two is plenty, um, mostly for a combination of reasons, but I don't need to kill four birds. I'm, I'm totally content with this. This is great. Um, I made some meals already out of this guy and we're gonna get this one cut up and I'm really looking forward to 
kind of eating some some regular food instead of just granola bars <laughs> but anyway I'm really uh, really really grateful and I really appreciate all of you guys who watch at home this has been a really really fun trip and I once again I want to thank Corbin and Eddie and Ian for letting me come hunt on their places and kind of see if I could outsmart some of these birds <laughs> so we made it happen but anyway um, there's a storm rolling in so I'm gonna get some pictures really quick but I will see you guys in hopefully Illinois